today's Would You Rather Wednesday. <laughs> and if you missed yesterday's round of questions, don't worry about it. The daytime Chicago team is back at it again. Check out part two of our game, Would You Rather. What are we playing? Would you rather? So true. Here we go. <laughs> My son suggested that we do a segment on Daytime Chicago called Steve's Stand Up. Uh, I'd put Steve's jokes on the show. How can you find Will Smith in a snowstorm? You could just look for the Fresh Prince. Let me say something to you. As a friend, you suck. <laughs> Peek into the future or jump back to the past. Ooh, that is a dangerous game. Live in the moment, right? Five years in the past? But then you change the future. So do you really want to do that? Oh, man. The future? Oh, no, wait. Oh, like just go back five years and stay there? Time travel confuses me, OK? And I was told there'd be no math with this one. Or I could go into the future. This is a little too convoluted, like a Christopher Nolan movie. Yes, it is. I'll go back five years. And who wouldn't want to be five years younger, right? I'm trying to figure this out of how do I win the lottery? That's all I care about this question. I could have done so many things. I could have bought Bitcoin. I'd rather go back five years. I'd rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors. I actually like the neighbors I have now. They are nosy, noisy neighbors. The good thing about it is they make so much noise, I can tell when they're looking in my window. I have had nosy neighbors when I lived in the South, and they're saying it's all the Southern charm. They're just nosy. Nosy neighbors, because you can pull the shades down on them. Noisy neighbors, there's nothing you can do. Loud, I don't mind. I live by the L. I'll go loud. You know what? I want to live by partiers. Sorry for party rocking. Nosy neighbors. I have some experience right now with noisy neighbors. No thank you, it's already driving me crazy. I have noisy neighbors right now, and I know exactly what they're watching on TV because I can hear it. They're watching the new Sex in the City. I can hear the xylophone through the walls. It's awful. I guess I'd rather have noisy neighbors. Would I rather have a high-pitched voice or this manly voice? Uh, I'm gonna go manly voice, because I have been told I have a manly voice at times. Nobody takes high pitch seriously. I have an annoying high-pitched voice. <laughs> oh, come on, deep manly voice. Do the voiceover, do the movie trailers. In a post-apocalyptic world where two women sit on a set and take over the nation. I would definitely see that movie. Ooh. Fashion, fun. Welcome to Daytime Chicago. I'd rather have a manly voice. I get irritated by people with very high voice. I should probably stop talking like this right now. It's really getting annoying. Well, I think I already have a deep manly voice. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my two. Would I rather have my name tattooed on my forehead or no front teeth? <gasps> no front teeth? This is an easy one. I had no front teeth for a long, 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 long time. I've seen the photo evidence. No, she looked exactly like Jim Carrey. And it wasn't that bad big of a deal. You can get fake teeth, you can just not smile. It's not a pretty picture. Go with the name across the forehead, Amy. I rocked the no teeth before, I'll rock them again. I think I would rather not have any tattoos should I decide to, after I leave television, go into a life of crime. When you have tattoos, especially with your name on your forehead, it's a lot easier to get caught. I got a big forehead, okay? I don't need, <laughs> I don't need anything else on there. I got a five head going already. He could probably not only put his name on his forehead, but maybe a quote. Bob. Oh, but his is perfect. Palindrome. Bob is a palindrome, so he can look at himself. It'll be spelled the right way. I feel like having no front teeth would at least give me character. I guess I'd have my name tattooed on my forehead, but I get it in script, so it'd at least be pretty. I, I guess I could keep my mouth closed. I'd rather have no front teeth. Would I rather have a framed photo of Pat Tomasulo or Paul Conrad in my house? Ooh. Do I go with the sexy bald man or the sexy hairy man? I'll take Paul. I don't know if I want Paul Conrad in my house. What am I doing Paul Conrad in my house? Oh, yeah. Either one is gonna really hurt the value of my house. Pat would give us, as a gift, pictures of himself because he's just that kind of guy. Conrad never gave me anything. I feel like Conrad would at least sign it for me, and so I'll take Conrad. I guess I'd rather have a photo of Pat Tomasulo. <laughs> we are a scary we bunch. We are a scary bunch. Oh. That's fun. We usually play Would You Rather on Wednesday up in the office. That's how all of this came out, came about. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that was great. And thank you to Bill Klazer, our photographer, who put that together. Yeah. He looked fantastic. He's, he was over like a mad scientist yeah, putting this together, laughing and everything. Yeah, so good great. job, Bill.